Hey guys, welcome back on my channel. I have disappeared for two or three months and a lot of you guys have been contacting me on uh, Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, just asking where I was. Now, what happened is that right after the end of Ramadan, my sister moved in with me because she was looking for a new flat and didn't want to, you know, be in a temporary place, pay an Airbnb while she was looking for another place. Uh, it ended up taking a bit longer than expected, but um, because she is a maximalist and I'm a minimalist, it just felt like all her stuff was taking over my place and I just didn't feel like I had my uh, space myself. So there were quite a few things that I just stopped doing, um, one of them being filming videos, just because I felt like I was drowning in things. Um, the good news is that uh, she just moved into her new flat a couple of days ago and uh, this uh, it was earlier in the week and I'm just back from her place, it looks fabulous but also I have my own space back and I feel like I can go back to making my own videos and things like that. In the meantime, uh, I had filmed an empties video uh, because it is the easiest thing for me to do and also because I had so much stuff, um, like I was suffocating that I focused a lot on just using things and finishing them. Um, and so the impact of that is that now I feel like my apartment is having a revival. It's only been three days or so, but I already feel like I have my space back, I have my flowers back, I can feel my decoration, my aesthetic is coming back to the place. So um, this is just to let you know guys that I'm definitely back now. Um, the video you're going to watch today is just an empties that I filmed very very quickly but I just wanted to get some of the things out. Uh, the next video is going to be a tour of my uh, makeup beauty station because I was buying quite a lot of things. Uh, realistically I don't regret any of my purchases but uh, also the setup is a bit more special because I did put a bit more thought in having everything where it should be. Uh, and then the following video is going to be a skincare routine. I haven't filmed any of these, but um, I will definitely go back to that filming schedule. So expect to see videos at least um, in the first place in every weekend. Uh, but then I'm trying to uh, upload more uh, often. So that was a very quick explanation of where I was and why I disappeared. Thank you guys for checking on me, but uh, everything is fine. And uh, well, we're back uh, in the game. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back on my channel. Uh, two days ago I received a message. Uh, it was a comment on my channel where one of you said that uh, you missed me because I have disappeared and it's been over a month. And I do apologize for this, but uh, as per my last video, which was an empties, like this one, my sister has moved to my place because she was looking for another apartment to move into. And it, was, it just took a toll on my lifestyle. I'm not used to having so much stuff. As I said, she's a maximalist. So I ended up having a lot of things around uh, in my place and it cramped up uh, cramped up the style of the apartment. I wasn't able to have my living room so I didn't really have a spot to film. And also things were quite busy in my projects because I had to train quite a few people. Now, um, she will be leaving in three weeks which means that by then I would have my apartment back and I would be able to go back to a filming schedule. But in the meantime, I thought I would just say hi and actually walk you through my empties for this month because uh, I have accumulated quite a few and I would like to start recycling them. So this is my consolation prize, let's say. So in no particular order, I'm just gonna go through this basket that I have accumulated over the past few weeks and walk you through the products. So we'll start with this Deva Curl One Condition Decadence. This is a conditioner that could be used to detangle your hair, to moisturize your hair, but also as a leave-in. Initially, that's how Deva Curl uh, started. I remember when the products were very multi-purpose, and then for some reason, because they wanted to expand their range, they started having more um, single-use type of product, like as in a styling cream versus a mask, etc, etc. But I remember many years ago when I started using the brand, I would use that for everything. I had stopped using it for quite some time because uh, I had changed the way I did my hair. But then recently I started again uh, co-washing my hair and so that was something that I would use. I don't think it has a lot of slip. 
So it's not like those uh, conditioners that have marshmallow extract or that have a lot of silicones. This one is very nourishing, but um, um, not the most slippery one out there. Yet I still decided to finish it. I even added water to it. I'm glad I did um, use all of it, but I will not actually repurchase. Then I have the As I Am Double Butter Cream. This is a product that I have repurchased over and over again. And it's one of those that I actually do finish, so I never regret having it. I have finished this one. I have another one in backup. I don't use it often right now because it's summer. Uh, although we did have a few very, very cold days, today happens to be very hot. And so I have just been doing washing goes where I will go under the shower, wash my hair, put some conditioner and get out. Um, so I didn't really have much need for the buttercream except for days like this when actually I can't be bothered to style my hair and so I just scrunch a little bit of this and uh, it just makes my hair feel happy. I don't really use it on wet hair, I tend to use it on dry hair and I feel it's quite moisturizing. Uh, although it's a thick white cream, I think it, you can use it daily if you have super super dry hair. Then I have a set of elastics that I use all the time. Um, I did not like these ones. What I have noticed, this is the brand called Squinty, I guess. This is What I have noticed is that the silicone ones work best for me because they don't snap. The ones that are just um, uh, kind of uh, without any metal piece, they don't snag my hair, but at the same time they're not as durable. So I'm still in the look for, on the look for some good um, hair elastics that don't snap after a month. Then something that I have done is uh, uh, when I had my sister um, staying with me is that I noticed the clutter just made me a bit uh, nervous. I wasn't able to sleep a lot of the time today. I didn't really sleep much. And so I started reorganizing my own things such that I'm in a position to see what I have. That meant that I have reorganized my entire makeup collection. I'm pretty happy about it. I'll probably film my makeup collection next week just because I'm so happy with it now. Um, but uh, I also organized my bathroom. I will also film a bathroom tour but after she leaves because it still has her stuff in it and I just don't feel it's right. Um, so I will film it once it only has my things. But one of the things I organized was just my daily face cloth and um, this is a, a set that I had bought from Sarah Chapman. Um, I don't think you really need to buy something that is branded. I think any washcloth would work, uh, especially that I use quite a few of these. But I just wanted to show you the ones that I had. I think they were quite expensive for what they were. And so I would probably just use ones from Boots or something like that. Right now I don't need to buy many of these, so it's not really an urgent repurchase. For body care, I have finished this Nivea Cream Soft. It is a body wash that I had uh, bought when I was in Germany on a business trip and so I just started using it. What I have decided to do is that um, instead of having a lot of body washes that are open at the same time, I'm really trying to finish them sequentially. Just because I noticed that this is one of the pet peeves I noticed from my sister. She would have lots of products that are almost over but they're not finished and then she would buy something else and then it would stay there. And so because I saw the extreme version of that, I said I don't want to become that person. So. It's, it's, it was quite a very quite a nice introspection exercise to see some extreme uh, habits that I think I don't do, but then maybe I just do it a little bit. On that same uh, spirit, in that same spirit, I have finished this Hello Happiness. Um, it's it's from uh, Telecept. Again, another purchase that I made in Germany. Uh, I used it up. This one was ginger lemon. Nothing special about it, but um. Um, but this one is vegan, so maybe that's what is special about it. But uh, yeah, again, trying to finish my, my shower gels one after the other instead of like having them sit in my bathroom. Penhaligon's Liquid Hand Wash. Um, this is the second one that I finished. This one is the Lavangela scent. Right now I have another one. I think it's Blenheim. No, it's Quercus. I think I have a fourth one, but I do, I would, I do not want to repurchase these. I, I have found... Um, uh, a brand called Doers of London. It's used at one gym that I go to and I am really trying to get their hand wash. Unfortunately, they don't sell it to the public, but I really want to track this and get it. It's, I just love it. Love the scent of it. Then 
um, the skin food egg white perfect for cleansing oil I'm not very picky about cleansing oils I did have quite a few that I bought from tester Korea when I was uh, into the Korean skin products so I just decided that I will again go sequentially through them because I noticed I did have three or four open at the same time so now I'm just being very diligent in using just one product at a time per category finishing it and then moving on to the next so I think that I have been doing much much better in finishing the things that I have as you can see from the size of this video it's probably going to be a 20 minute one Gemma Maybelline um, uh, nail polish remover this is one that I bought when I was in Brussels I brought it with me and I finished it a lot of these products I brought with me actually but fine Philip Kingsley elasticizer this is a um, um, a very nourishing treatment for the hair I did repurchase this many many times but I usually go for the elasticizer extreme which is for very dry hair this was a freebie with something that I had bought and um, because I didn't want to just keep repurchasing things I decided to go over all the products that I had realized I had this so decided to use it before moving to something else in that same vein I used another uh, moisturizer which is the Bumble and Bumble BB while you sleep. This is an overnight damage repair mask. Uh, I didn't like the smell of it because it was sickly sweet. I think it was quite expensive for uh, for what it was, um, and uh, I didn't like the texture of it. I just feel like I liked the idea of having something that works overnight. I just feel that the texture was too sticky for me. That I needed a lot of product. That I had I didn't enjoy the smell. So while I absolutely love Bumble and Bumble products, I think this one was not really made for me. Um, then as expected I have one kinky curly not today I usually have one of these leave-in conditioners or I also use it for detangling in every one of my empties and so yes I am going through them but I will get to a point where I actually run out of my stock and then I will have to explore other things but in the meantime still very happy with it if it ain't broke I'll fix it um, then I have this Colgate Plax Cool Mint I have also noticed that uh, sometimes I would buy something like that and then say I'm gonna refill it and then I just decided that at this moment I'm not traveling enough to have all of these travel size items so when I was organizing my bathroom I put all my tra travel size items in one big basket which I'm, I'm planning on using as I go so that I just don't wait for me to be traveling so right now I'm using smaller sized items as I go staying on, on dental care I finished this Marvis toothpaste it is quite an expensive uh, toothpaste I think it was eight pounds or something like that it is made in Italy and is mm, meant to be one of the nicer toothpaste I felt that it was very smooth it's not one of those toothpaste that when you put you have tears coming down your your eyes because even though it has fluoride it's it's um, it doesn't sting I would say it was very very soft and um, it also has a sweet uh, um, uh, taste to it it has silitol so it's not really sugar but um, I don't know I'm not really sure whether it made my teeth much better um, I've always had good teeth to be honest so I don't think that um, this makes a difference while we're on the bathroom uh, I have finished the Aesop post poo drops uh, this is meant to be for when you go number two I mean you do your business then you flush and then you put a few drops of this in the in the in the toilet bowl sometimes if you feel that uh, it's not enough you can put a few drops in the sink and it really helps leave a very nice scent of mandarin uh, and things like that I really like it and I have a second bottle of it for skincare I finished the niacinamide by the ordinary I have recently realized that uh, they make it now in a bigger bottle because it's one of their best sellers so that's very very good news I have another one that is open um, right now I use it less often than I used to just because I have simplified my skincare much much more so I only use it every other day at night time before uh, applying my moisturizer but uh, I'm not as diligent as before just because I don't I no longer have as much skin trouble um, and also it's summer I can't be bothered to layer too many skincare items I'm tossing um, this was a hair inhibitor serum that I haven't used and it expired so I'm just tossing it it's sad but what can you do and then I have this Atelier Robule Reed Diffuser this is the scent for my apartment I really like it I have another one I think it's going to finish within a couple of weeks 
but I had bought it when I was in Copenhagen. I loved that smell because it reminded me of the Park Hyatt in Milano. And um, I love the idea of having a specific distinctive scent to your apartment when you just open the door and come in. Right now, that scent is lost because I have so much stuff. But um, I think I think we're getting there. I think I give it uh, two, three weeks and then it's going to revive again. And maybe I will do a tour of different areas. I have finally finished my two The Ordinary Foundations. This is one of the best foundations I have used. My shade is 31Y. I love it so much that um, um, I just had a lot of trouble using something else. But also being realistic about the status of my makeup collection, I decided not to repurchase it, but instead use some of the stuff that I, uh, that I still have. So it will be a few months until I actually repurchase that. But I'm um, very happy with that um, foundation. Very good product price point so I would probably repurchase it at some point now the last few pieces are all makeup so I have this lipstick by benefit it's called double the lip uh, by their real that's all what is left in it I don't really like it I didn't enjoy it um, I mean I used it up but still uh, I think it's a fail from them I feel like it, it just sits on top of my lips it doesn't really penetrate it doesn't really mesh with the color of my lips so I didn't enjoy having that as a lipstick, so once I was 90% done with it, I said, okay, fine, let's toss it. I got it for free in a magazine anyway. Then the second thing that I have finished is this color Whispers by <clears throat> Maybelline. I've had it for ages, but yeah, it's gone. It was very moisturizing. At first, I remember when I just got it, I was very hesitant to, to use this because I thought it would make me look ghostly um, and uh, ashy and all that. But then I noticed that once you wear it and then you wait for like five minutes or so, it actually has a very nice color. So I started using it as a lip balm and enjoyed it quite a, quite a lot. And then the Essence Super Curve Volume Mascara Eye Opening. I don't need a lot. I'm not very picky about mascara, but this is one that I like very cheap. I have a second one open. I just tossed this yesterday and I have the second one. I also have a couple things in backup. The only problem that I have with this is that it dries out quite fast, but I don't really mind. I still use it even when it's completely dried out. It's only when I get no product, product that I end up tossing in. And the last bit would be this Clinique pen, eye pencil. So it is the quick liner for eyes intense. It was in black. Um, honestly, I feel like this didn't last long. Uh, granted, I had it for free uh, in one of the boxes. I just feel like I, it didn't last very long. I've only used it for a couple months and it's already gone. So I just replaced it with another um, glimmer stick by Avon. If you've been following this channel for years, you know that I have been using uh, the glimmer sticks forever. Uh, I feel they're really good value for money, so I always keep going back to them. So these are all my empties. I'm going now to recycle all of these because that means more space in my bathroom at last. I'm going to continue finishing the products that I'm using. I will post this video and then hopefully within two or three weeks I should be able to have my apartment back and then I'm going to film my makeup collection video which I haven't done in ages. It's been years I haven't shown that and then a bathroom tour. So stay tuned for that. Thank you for sticking by and uh, I'll see you very soon on my channel. Take care.